Finally, admitting you need the space and comfort of a minivan is easy. Deciding which one to buy can be a bit of a challenge. The good news? There are really only four minivans now that the Nissan Quest is being discontinued. In our opinion, the new Honda Odyssey and Chrysler Pacifica are both at the top of their game. The 2017 Chrysler Pacifica and 2018 Honda Odyssey are actually quite similar in a lot of ways, and both are fresh off a total redesign. But here's how they differ in some key areas. Both minivans are outfitted with comparable V6 engines and clock the same gas mileage. But for maximum efficiency, you'll want the Pacifica Plug-in Hybrid, the only hybrid minivan available. When it comes to handling, the Odyssey is more responsive and corners well, so in-town driving is fun. The Odyssey is also quieter than the Pacifica. On the highway, we prefer the Pacifica's soft, comfortable ride, so be sure to do both types of driving when you test drive. For those craving a little luxury, the Pacifica's interior feels more upscale thanks to more premium looking materials, a huge sunroof, available two-tone leather, and a more substantial steering wheel. Where these two minivans really differ comes down to their second and third row seats. If you spend most of your time toting little people around, the Odyssey's sliding second row is going to change your life, or at least make it a heck of a lot easier. The seats slide up and back as well as side to side, so getting kids in and out of the car or just handing them a snack is a lot easier. And for those needing to quickly shift from hauling lots of people to hauling lots of stuff, you'll be impressed with the Pacifica's power third row and stow and go second row. The seats simply drop flat into the floor for maximum cargo space. No other van does this. As for parental gadgets, you can't help but like Honda's cabin watch, which lets you keep an eye on the kids even in the dark, as well as cabin talk, an integrated PA system which will save your voice, and quite possibly your sanity with noisy kids in the back. Hey guys, inside voices please. Kids will likely prefer the Pacifica's dual screen entertainment system versus the Odyssey's single drop down screen. And this could be a deciding factor if your kids like to bicker over what movie to watch. And be warned, you'll only get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on the Odyssey. The Chrysler has a homegrown system that does the same thing, but it's kind of not the same and requires an app on your phone. As for safety, both minivans are outfitted with lots of driver assist technology that's mostly found on the mid to upper trim levels. Now that you know what you're getting, let's talk price. Both base models start around $30,000. A fully loaded Odyssey Elite will run you around $5,000 more than a similarly equipped Pacifica Limited. As for a new car warranty, both cover the typical three years or 36,000 miles, but Chrysler offers five years of roadside assistance versus Honda's three. Bottom line, it's a close call. Deciding between these popular minivans really comes down to lifestyle, tech preferences, and quite possibly budget. The Odyssey is more fun to drive, but the Pacifica has a more upscale vibe. We're going to call this one a tie.